Russia is making major progress in improving its domestic microelectronics industry by establishing specialized testing grounds and advanced technology centers that will be used to evaluate, refine, and implement world-class products. These initiatives are indicative of a strategic approach to the building of a competitive domestic basis in the microelectronics sector and the substitution of technological imports. Two recently established testing grounds are at the core of these transformations. The Contemporary Import Substitution Heterostructure Electronic Component Base Center of the IOFE Physical Technical Institute in St. Petersburg and the National Research University MIET in Zelenograd. We will investigate these initiatives and analyze the main trends in microelectronics testing infrastructure, updates for 2025, and supplementary insights from Russian language sources. Russia marked an important step in its high-tech agenda by officially announcing the establishment of specialized testing facilities for microelectronics in 2025. Mayet, a prominent Russian university that specializes in the research and training of electronics and microelectronics, will establish the first such platform. Historically referred to as Silicon Valley in Russia, Zelenograd has been the focal point of the national microelectronics cluster for decades. It is currently establishing itself as a center for the testing of technologies that are designed to comply with global standards. The IOF Institute's Center for Contemporary Import Substituting Heterostructure Electronic Component Base will serve as the second testing ground. The Institute is involved in both fundamental and applied research in the fields of electronics, heterostructures, materials science, and photonics. The new facility will not only validate pre-made components, but also optimize the processes for their mass implementation. Both institutions will be instrumental in the introduction of new technologies and globally competitive products, thereby establishing alternatives to foreign analogs. Construction of a dedicated science and research and development facility is nearing completion on the grounds of the IOF Institute as part of efforts to upgrade and expand testing infrastructure. The facility is already 85 to 90 percent complete, according to Russian media, and is expected to be commissioned by the end of 2026. The new center will function as a completely integrated platform that is capable of completing the entire cycle, from development to industrial application, in addition to serving as a laboratory. The center's main concentration will be on nanosystems, heterostructures, optoelectronics, and photonics. In this test, the current elements, sensors, complex integrated circuits, and components necessary for defense, telecommunications, energy, medicine, and digital infrastructure will be evaluated. Moreover, the center is intended to serve as a catalyst for interdisciplinary projects, facilitating the collaboration of universities, engineering firms, startups, and significant enterprises. Based on the recently built research and development facility, the IOFI EKB Center is a fundamental element of the federal initiative, training personnel and laying the foundations for the electronics industry. Its goal is to create a complete setting that helps Russian scientists and engineers improve their work, including refining, testing, and getting technologies ready for large-scale production. The center will provide access to state-of-the-art testing and manufacturing equipment, as well as top-tier experts, to both the Institute's internal initiatives and external partners. This setup aligns with the idea of a national technology park for electronic components, where new ideas like microchips and complex system-on-chip designs can be created, tested, and improved. Experts emphasize that creating these centers will help develop products suitable for both local and international markets, strengthening Russia's efforts to become technologically independent amid recent global challenges. The significance of establishing testing grounds and laboratories as a means of attaining technological independence is consistently underscored in Russian manufacturing industry resources. The implementation of a national certification and quality control system and the standardization of testing methodologies is one of the key trends. 
Domestic import substitution initiatives, which are now supported by new testing facilities, have been swiftly advancing in the Russian microelectronics sector in recent years. These initiatives are designed to replace foreign components and supply chains. The development of testing platforms for microcontrollers, integrated circuits, power electronics, radio frequency devices, microsensors, memory units, and processors is of particular importance. According to reports, the establishment of such launch sites not only consolidates infrastructure, but also fosters an ecosystem that facilitates the rapid exchange of knowledge, the optimization of extant technologies, and the adoption of the most recent advancements, including those that are pertinent to high-precision engineering and defense. In recent months, there has been a significant increase in the number of news stories pertaining to new laboratories that are capable of conducting multi-stage testing and satisfy international quality standards. Moscow region, Zelenograd, and St. Petersburg are currently launching significant initiatives. The MIT announced in July 2025 the expansion of its testing capacity with the addition of a new pavilion. This pavilion is equipped with advanced software and hardware that enables real-to-integrated circuit analysis, high-temperature tests, and the simulation of device operation under severe electromagnetic interference. This trend has heightened the interest of young professionals, thereby increasing the prominence of technical professions and broadening the scientific foundation of contemporary universities. A number of firms, as well as major companies like Angstrom and Micron, have become more active in the development of components for information communications and cutting-edge data networks, including IoT and 5G. Evaluation of entire technology chains, from design to industrial launch, is a central responsibility of the new Russian testing grounds, in addition to the scrutiny of individual components. According to local sources, there is a growing use of modern testing tools like automated systems, flexible robotic setups, quick quality checks, automated soldering tests, and equipment for measuring resistance and temperature, as well as stress tests for extreme conditions. In sectors where Russia has high-priority domestic and international responsibilities, such as space, defense, novel medical devices, energy, and telecom, this transition is not only about following foreign standards. It is also about the development of unique approaches. Establishing digital sovereignty is a particular emphasis as it enables the supervision of each stage of technology development and testing without the need for foreign contractors, particularly during the sensitive certification phase. These endeavors are establishing a foundation for a national policy of technological autonomy, which is essential for global competitiveness. The new centers are implementing the federal project, training personnel, and laying the foundations for the electronic industry through large-scale educational programs. The initiation of courses on microelectronics project management, automated systems, modern design and testing methods, and certification fundamentals has been verified by university websites. MEET and the IOFI Institute are critical regional hubs for scientific exchange, organizing internships, industrial placements, and hackathons. These events are intended to acquaint students, young engineers, and researchers with the most recent technological advancements, enabling them to transition projects from concept to mass-produced product. The introduction of new subjects into curricula, including medical microelectronics, digital quality control systems, and electronic components for space missions, has been previewed by project directors in interviews. This method, according to industry experts, will cultivate professionals who are capable of satisfying the needs of both the domestic and international markets. The implementation and testing of experimental innovations, such as promising chip architectures, system-on-chip solutions, heterostructures, photonic sensors, and high-frequency devices have been covered by Russian news sites. Next-generation complex devices are currently being tested at the MAI ground, including modules for quantum communication, AI system components, and controllers for smart sensors intended for industrial automation and robotics.
The IOFI Center employs the same methodology for the evaluation of advanced electronic component architectures for aerospace and defense, as well as equipment designed for use in challenging environments, including radiation, low temperatures, and corrosive conditions. Russian media outlets report that they have conducted effective trials of new microcontrollers, some of which are approaching the performance of global analogs. The analysis of new domestic memory prototypes, optical sensors, and transistors is also noted by SITES, which is a promising trend for the enhancement of the quality and reliability of Russian products. In late 2025, Russia is demonstrating a positive trajectory. The successful certification and testing of new modules has increased access to markets in East and South Asia, while simultaneously reducing the country's susceptibility to external sanctions. This new system of testing centers will be essential for Russia's technological sovereignty, according to analysts. The country intends to broaden the geography of microelectronics testing platforms by expanding capacities in both large cities and the regions in the future years. The primary obstacles include the maintenance of contemporary quality standards, the continuous upgrade of equipment, and the enhancement of collaboration among universities, industries, IT companies, and the government. The integration of new materials science technologies, the development of hybrid management systems for testing processes, and the creation of platform solutions for automated data analysis are among the primary opportunities. These measures will enhance the competitiveness of domestic products and contribute to a long-term strategy for the export of Russian microelectronic goods and expertise. In summary, the establishment of new testing grounds at the IOF Institute and MIE has brought Russia closer to the top participants in the global microelectronics market, thereby achieving the objectives of digital sovereignty and technological import substitution. The country's future technological advancements are predicated on the following. Infrastructure modernization, educational initiatives, comprehensive skills training, and an increased capacity for effective testing. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us